start because I did it beforehand. So make sure you do your base. What I would do first is the concealer first for your tired eyes and your redness and then put the foundation over. And then powder because it settles the whole base. And definitely powder your eyes because it helps to settle up the eye makeup. So to start with I'm going to choose a colour from Ruby Miller. That is all there very handy and the colour I probably would do is a nice gaudy brown colour because it's edgy but still dayish so I'll just get my brush and the one I'm using is this colour here where my brush is Get some, then tab it on your wrist so you get some of the stuff off. Then you hold your eye here so you can see how much you can do because some people have really big eyes and it gives a full on wow effect. But with people with small eyes, you what you will have to do is just try and extend a little to make it big. So dab it on. Then same again on the other eye. Dab again to get some excess off. And hold here. Because you can do different shapes by using this brush, like a really round shape or a very straight or very big oval shape or a very simple line shape with just this colour for a dayish look. But because I'm doing a interpretation of Lady Gaga it's good to edge it out basically. Because I've got small eyes, I've edged a little bit out to make it bigger. And also use your finger to help to smooth it. Okay, and the next thing I would do is probably use a bit of dark brown. Just to give it more edginess. And what I'll do is put it in the corner here. And then I'll bring it up a bit. And same again on the other side. Just to make sure I can blend it in with the other colour. And smooth it out basically with your finger if you don't have a blender brush. But sometimes I prefer using fingers because it makes it nicer sometimes. Or I use a bit of both.
Right, with the eyeliner, I've got um, Clinique eyeliner. You can see, but probably can't. <laughs> so, when you do your eyeliner, you basically get your middle finger here, hold it like you did with the eyeshadow, but when you're doing your own, you just lift a bit so you can see your line of your eye, but when you're doing others, it's okay. So I'm lifting a bit, and then draw the line on. It's in the corner. If you want to add more, just go on top of it. Make sure you're on the actual line, and when that happens, of course, some of my underneath will bring it. So, as you can see, it managed to do my underneath for me. Then again on this side, hold here, lift up, so you can see your line. Then go to the corner. Bring it in to join. Then blend again with your blender brush. The next step is definitely with scar because it gives you full effect. And it's number seven from the makeup number seven. And instead of black, it is navy. So a bit of blue lashes, basically. To give it a bit of a change and again an edge. So look up. Can you do it? Then again on the other side. Look up. Also do the underneath, so you look down. And then on this side. And there you go with the eyes. Because I've done quite mutual eyeshadow, the dresser with the eyeliner, and as you can see, it's very edgy and dark. Even I only used a simple natural base colour. I will do a natural lips colour because it blends well with the face. But if you did. Um, dark, really dark eyes like blue or grey or black, basically smoky, you would do a neutral lips as well. But if you just did, say, a very 
neutral colour, say like pink or something, you would do a dark lips. So, and this lipstick is from Avon. And then get your lip brush and start from the centre and the end. Again here. Rub together. But if it doesn't work, just top it up. Also, before. If you just want lipstick and glass, it, glass will dress it up with the lipstick. But if you want to fall on, fall on lips, do lip liner on the outside, then the lipstick, then the gloss. And there you go with the lipstick. But if you want to dress it even more, blusher, or if you're not a blusher person, don't put any blusher on. Get your blusher brush, and what I do, most people think you just do that and do that, but if you want a nice line of blusher, you pinch it like this, where my finger is, to make the brush wider, then you just do a stroke in your blusher. And then do, smile or suck. And then you've got the line of your cheekbone. feel like you've done too much too low here just get an earbud with a water and take it off or get a bit of foundation and it will get it off for you And if it's too high, just do it again, like I said before, use an earbud or foundation to tidy it up. So that was Lady Gaga's Fame Fragrance with my interpretation. Um, well, there'll be YouTube Halloween vlogs to follow on my channel and please look out for that and um, please subscribe and leave a comment and also follow me on twitter thank you bye gossip girl